Hey, my name is Priyanshu Jain and you are watching the statistics my passion. So here we will discuss about the MSc statistics, MSc AST overview. So in this course, this is course basically from the university and uh, we are discussing and the objectives are here. So this is to provide a core knowledge of statistics for practical applications, analyze learners with real life problems, enable them to apply various statistical tools, equip students with the skills to use appropriate statistical software across diverse fields, offer opportunity for career progression and higher education in statistics. So this uh, education is provided basically in the statistical fields. If you are interested to go for a statistical field, you can go for this course. Now the target group, so the target group is that working professional, data science, management, software, pharmaceutical and agriculture industries, calling university teachers interested in teaching statistical related courses and professional with minimal exposures to apply status but keen on developing skills in the field and graduate with a background in statistics, mathematics, seeking theoretical understanding and practical skills in data analytics. So basically if you are interested so you can go for in any industries like data science management and pharmaceutical and you can go for another teachers field also and many other options are available in the market also so what is the duration of this course the basically the minimum duration for the completing course is uh, is two years and the maximum duration is four years so what is the mean by what did it mean by this four years that so, all the MSc courses are basically for two years, but IGNI provides us a four years MSc. If you are not able in any year give exams, so you can give those exams in the next year. Suppose that I am the student of 2023 and I am enrolled in 2023 and I am not able to give the exams in 2023. So, I can give those exams in. 2024 so you need to complete all the exams in all the four semester in the four years so this is the basically uh, procedure for the exams what is the medium of the instructions the medium of the instruction is English and all courses materials are provided in English and the next one is eligibility so eligibilities are here so you must have a bachelor's degrees with the statistics or mathematics and one of the subjects from a recognized university so you should have bachelor degrees with the statistics or mathematics so you can go for it now the next is program fee the total program fee is 30,800 divided into four semester that means that 14,400 per year so additionally, there is a non-refundable registration fee of 300 payable at the time of admission. The total fee is 30,800, which is can be defer according to the year, according to the new notification. Exit option. Upon successful completion of the first two semesters, learner have the option to exit a post-graduate diploma in statistics and application PGDSA. Suppose that you are not uh, able to complete all four semesters and you have completed two semesters. Now you want to exit from this course. So they will provide you a postgraduate diploma in statistics and application after one year of successful completion of the course. What is the credit system? Credit system is that the program allows a credit system where each credit represents 30 hours of study. A four credit scores that involves 120 hours studies and study successful completion of the program requires fulfilling assignments and term exam for each course in the cur curriculum. So while so suppose that you uh, in in the January session you take admission and then after you after the taking admission you will provide the assignments so you need to complete the assignments in the February March they will provide you and after the completing of assignment they need to submit we need to submit all the assignments in the at the regional center and then after in the June they uh, it will conduct the exams of the first semester and then after again in the December the second semester exam will conduct.
thank you so much for watching this video if any confusion any queries can you can contact me uh, in the comment box thank you so much